Yo, what's going on, guys? Volibear has a wild build that's taken over the Volibear meta, and that's go for Rod of Aegis Rush because it's pound for pound the cheapest item you can get while simultaneously getting Giga Tanky with infinite mana, health, and ability power. Scales really well. The downside is you don't have ability haste, so you are going to be looking for looses because your first 15 to 20 ability haste is the most important. So for this build, we have Lucid's Rush with Rod of Aegis. After that, you actually want Navari because every auto attack puts your abilities on a lower cooldown. For an auto attack, attack speed spammer like Volibear, that's big. Uh, I actually don't mind getting the lane late here. I don't really want to shove that hard. And then third item is situational. It's Rod, Navari, and then everything after that, it really just depends. If you're going to play Volibear with turret demolish, you do just want to infinitely push wave. I didn't want to do that, though, just because Set's so gankable with Flash Ignite. Plus, Set has a pull. So if I go to hit his turret with demolish, he's going to yank me in and beat my head in. So it's kind of dicey. So instead, we have Press Attack, Presence of Mind, Ability Haste with Slash Stand, Cash Back, Jack of All Trades, Attack Speed, uh, AP, and Hell. Ooh, you see that damage? You cannot trade with Volibear if he lands E. But he, he still won that, though. I made the trade too long. He's literally dead there if that hits. I'm going to try to get level 2 here, and he's dead. I'm going to flash and just take it. Because he already burnt flash, so I'll just take the kill. That's fine. He literally doesn't have TP, so he's just screwed. You always go Q level 2 because the stun holds in the side for your E. If people are foolish enough to fight you, and you can tell they're pressing it, you just cast your E on top of you and them. Kind of like a Karthus Q. Slightly in between you and them. Get with the Q reset. I'm not going to stay for plates before the 5 minute mark. There's no point. Lissandra Lux. I hope Lissandra doesn't roam top. That'd be really tough for me. First item back. Lucids would be freaking delicious. I can't afford it though. So I'll wait for a refill though. Uh, yeah, I'll just go refill. I'll TP. I have boots. He doesn't. He's in a rough spot. I also have potion advantage. As long as I don't die, at least in gank, we're chilling. We could get ganked here. Uh, jungles finish their full clear around 310 to 330. So we're in the danger zone right now. We don't want to look for anything crazy here. Because this is when we're going to get ganked if Lee Sin is full clearing into top side. Being a jungle main has its perks for kind of understanding. Uh, okay, Lee Sin's mid. He just 4 camped, so he must have been going all over the place this game. Just didn't pan out. I got my E ready. Stunned him inside. W auto. Alright. He needed to pull first. I think I was out of his pull range initially, so we just threw out a cone. Got our passive full stack, so we are get the chaining damage. The max. Let's get him inside. Down he goes. He almost had me there, to be honest, which is wild, because he didn't have his cone ability. It's really just his minions there doing all of the work. That was wild. Our healing is going to be super, super big. Void Bear healing gets nuts. The lower on health he is, if you've hit the same target with a W more than once within the last 8 seconds, you get a huge, huge, huge heal. Auto, W, auto. I'm going to go ahead and back off here. He's going to be able to clear that. I need to get my refills. Probably just grab Lucid as well. We can pick up the pace of our trades to where he won't really have a chance for his abilities to be back up. We can just keep spamming him out hard. That's exactly what we'll do. I'll head back to lane by control ward. Not a huge fan of these new runes. They're just overpowered, which is why I took them. Their win rate's quite a bit higher than Resolve Tree Volibear. Cash back. You get 6% gold back when you purchase a legendary item. Volibear falls off late game, so having ramping tempo into the mid game, snowballing tempo is really good. Jack of all trades. For each different stat gained from items, gain one jack stat grants you one ability haste so it's basically free ability haste for just buying items which is really good for volley we're gonna stun him throw down the e right we're about to hit stun do w auto attack i can collapse on this oh wait, lissandra's here oh i'm dead yeah oh i have my r i couldn't r i was perma cc'd that sucks but we got our W off on set. Huge heal since we'd already hit him with a W. 
Glad the gold didn't go to set. Shouldn't affect our lane matchup too much. I think Lissandra has R, so she's kind of dangerous. She doesn't have items, though. She's basically just mana. Ooh, there's the R we were talking about. Lux R comes down for support. Lee Sin Q's an execute. Wow, I'm shocked that actually missed. I want to run this. I think I run him down. Did they actually back off? I thought they... I didn't even see them leave. Whoa, they're lane swapping. I have R. This chick doesn't realize it, but she's dead. I can deactivate turret, and we already know she doesn't have R. I don't even need Zin for this. We're just going to run her down, stun her inside of E. And Zin KS me. Feels bad. <laughs> I'm going to chug my potions here, try to get enough health. I should be able to take set, even if he has Ignite, I think. We'll W the minion, get the heal, stun the side of the E, kite him out. Oof. Pop R. I went through his R that way. We'll give him that W. Auto Q, auto. Oof. And with another W, look at that heal. He's just dead now. Now I'm going to flash out. I think I would have lived without Zen, but I may not have gotten the kill. I had to flash out, though. He stunned me up against my minion. Looks like Lee Sin's bot side. Our R does damage. It's a slow. It also gives us extra health. That's quite a bit. Deactivates turrets if we're close enough with it. We can W off this minion again and get some health back. It's more off of champions. It's only half what it would be off of a minion. Cleared the wave with E. And we're chilling, man. About to pick up Catalyst of the Eons, which is pretty good. Very nice. Can't afford the rest, so I guess we'll delay that. I just have a weird amount of gold. I'll head back to lane. Set no tier 2 boots. He's just all AD, no health. With Volibear, you can keep the trades as short as you want. Just Q, stun the side of the E, W, run away. You don't even have to apply the full press the attack, depending on what the enemies can trade back with. And we can run that uh, non-interactive play pattern over and over. Get him with E. Auto W. I did miss some minions for this, so that was probably not worth it. Lost a handful. Sandra's missing. I do have my R. Passive full stacked. Three Rift Grubs tearing into this turret hard. I'm going to try to keep him off of his turret. I already got the play. Another one isn't about to break, so I'm not going to miss out on gold by being too far away. I'm going to max my Q second. Stop inside. Q, E, W, auto. Auto, W, auto. We got no shot here. Let's throw down an ER. Turret's deactivated. Got it. Turret's back on. Chonked him. I'll just wait. I'm going to heal off the cannon minion here in a moment. I'm pushing. He's, he's not going to be able to survive. There it is. Nice, nice, nice. Even after you land the stun on Q, you still get the movement speed for the whole duration for four seconds. So we auto Q, run. We still have the movement speed bonus. This is a very early turret, so I auto Q and we just run away. Very, very, very early turret. We're about to get some cash back. We just have to stay alive so I don't throw bounties, the thing. Rod of Aegis into Navori. Here we go. Big old chump. We already got how much cash back? 150, so that's something. 
down the side. W auto. Auto W. Get the E down on him. And then we walk out. We do want to try to W the same one again here, so we'll hold off. There we go. These guys are too low. I'll just finish them. Have some crit with Zeal. The Volibear crit animation is so freaking cool. I'll let him step back up to the wave. I need space to kill him anyways. I'll hold on to Q as an escape option. I don't need to stun the wolf with it. Yeah, Volibear crit slaps with both hands. It's like a double claw. It's really cool. Oh, I'm surprised he ran this way. Sandra might come to pinch me. Set clearly can't fight us anymore. Jin's very overpowered. I try to ban him as much as possible. I forget though. He's very, very overtuned. He's so easy to kite on, even against a bad Jin. It's very challenging to get to him with how fast he is when he crits. And with 80 carry items right now, every auto is a crit. Auto W auto. I'll have my R for the turret. Straight on his head. Down he goes. They, they're going to have to send some people to stop me here. I'm snowballing. See Lisa in there. Jin here. I don't know if Jin has support with him. If he's by himself, I would just snap him in half. He's trying to snare me. I got the shield. Very cost effective trade for us. We're still pretty full health. And it almost died. Trying to get my passive full stacked. I have to leave. I'm leaving. We just don't know how many people are here. As tempting as it a fight, I don't have R. There's potentially five people. They have enough CC to keep me perma CC. At least in R, Lissandra R, Lissandra Snare. Set grab, set R. That's me five or so seconds of hard CC. Run him down, stun W auto, run him behind him so he doesn't army away. Rip. Six grubs. Their turret stand no shot here. Hey, buddy. Sandra no R. There it is. I think he died before he could throw cone. He's just CC'd. <laughs> Volley Bear is extremely non-interactive. It's kind of like when you're playing a champion that has not much mobility and you're playing against Riven. And she just runs in, blows all of her abilities, runs out, and you can't do anything about it. That's what playing against a Volley Bear feels like. Because we can go in, chunk, and get out. And we do that a couple times and they're so low no matter what they do. It doesn't really matter. Healing done. Rod of Ages has healed us for 700 and also 407 mana restored. Oh, I'm still tanking turret. I didn't expect that. I'm actually die here. Yeah, I actually died. Well played to him. He got me with Ignite. He managed to kill me. <laughs> turret did a bit of damage. I couldn't... If I had flash up, it might have been up. I needed to dodge the cone. Typically, third item, it's a toss-up between Visage and Iceborne. Spirit Vistage, as some might say. Against their team, it's kind of triple physical, so I wouldn't mind Iceborne. Also known as Frozen Fist. They've changed the name on it once or twice. Used to be Frozen Gauntlets at one point in time. How much gold set got? 750 gold from killing me. 300 base, 450 bonus. Nice luck snare, but Leeson's not tanking turret. That stinks. Hey, Lissandra, ER. Get the stun W auto. Well played, my man. By throwing out our E far ahead, we can catch up with our R jump and then stun him inside so their R slowed in the Q stun. The shield soaks basically two turret shots. We can re-engage. Q stun the side. Same thing. He's really fast uh, trade patterns. 
You back off for a second and they think they're safe. They think, oh, he just used his abilities. Ah, oh, that's a lot of damage. Set only has stride breaks and has two full items. Should be easy. Kind of keep forgetting to use my refill. I want red buff. I can get residue. I don't even have to last hit it. Since two dragons have been taken, any jungle buff creates a second one for their teammate to grab. Red buff's going to heal me so fast. 25 health per second. I don't need anything else. Got my passive up. The stun EW. Ah, uh, she's chunking me, man. Got the stun W. I'm going to flash away just because I'm worth too much. I'm actually not worth anything, funnily enough. I thought I had a bounty, but I didn't until just now. They don't have any globals besides the Jin R a little bit. Back off this way. Whew, got Iceborne, man. We can apply that with our autos, of course, with Q and with W. It's really easy to apply with W since it outranges your autos. All set. Poor guy. Down he goes. We need to start getting objectives, though. Volley Bear does fall off at a certain point. Typically, when enemy AD carries three or more items. We got 468 gold from cash back, and we have uh, 10 adaptive force. Use that currency one ability haste. I don't know. It's giving us stuff right now. Get the stun W auto. He might arm me. He might not. Guess he doesn't have it. There's my shield. My abilities are super, super short cooldown. Wasn't expecting to see Seth there, though, I'll be honest. I'm just dead. I could have won that so hard. Ah, the set pull, man. Like, if the set pull didn't hit, I could have gone back in in a moment when my abilities were up. They just got 650 gold off me there. Spirit Visage would be decent, although they do have lots of ignites. I wouldn't mind a heart still as cringy as it sounds. If you're ahead on any type of uh, kind of bruiser, tanky champion, heart still scales pretty well from being ahead. Now, if you're behind, you should not really do that. Unless you're Dr. Mundo, because he kind of has to. Dr. Mundo, in my opinion, hasn't been very viable at all. Borderline unplayable ever since they Giga nerfed Titanic at the start of this season. We can lose this game. This game's very losable. They're going to get Dragon now since Zin died. That's three for them. They're, they're almost at soul. Set has stupid base damage. The, the character takes practically zero skill. It's just a coin flip character who has high base damage. He essentially soloed me when he didn't have a full item that I had to. Just because I took a couple of turret shots. He didn't have full health from the start. I want that W. Lux stole it from me. We get down a deep E and the R. Stun W. Kill stilled me again, Lux. Alright, my Q's off cooldown since he cancelled it. Volley Bear Q comes off cooldown pretty much instantly if someone cancels it. We need to get drag though. They're gonna gangbang me if I stay, I gotta leave. There's other there's other champions in that category where their base damage is silly high like a Kali. Even with taking fleet on a Kali and no ignite, she can one shot pretty much anyone if she has zero kills. Why are we not getting dragon? Huh. We're playing for kills when we're already ahead in gold. That's unfortunate. Luckily, we end up getting it. Drop my E on that. Stun W auto. 
She should be right here. Stun. Ooh, they're in trouble. You guys are in big trouble. I got my E around the wall. Rip. Ripperoni pepperoni. Yeah, <laughs> all me, sure. Auto Q auto. The, the ability haste, the cooldown is so low with Lucid's plus Navari, because Navari makes every single auto attack, puts your abilities on a shorter cooldown. We, we need to uh, end or get every objective. We're, we're going to fall off hard. Uh, that blast cone's not an upgraded one. If it was, I'd stand on and blast over when someone steps up. E, auto, QW. Couldn't quite get the rest of it. I get going on this. Drop my ER. Down he goes. There's my Glacial. Stun the Lissandra. Walk into the shield. Got the Luck Shield there too. That was pretty good. Set's about to pop R on somebody. Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> Two item Lisa. <laughs> Two item Jin. A Volibear is pretty overpowered right now. As long as the game doesn't stretch too long. So once Jin gets three items, we're going to deal with that quite a bit. Our tankiness comes from being in combat, shielding with E, and healing with W. It doesn't come just from standing there and getting hit. And when the enemy AD carries two fed, that's what ends up happening. Hey, Lee Sin. Rip. There you go, buddy. Run, Rakan! Rip. Alright, we just wait. Drop E. We drop the Q. Lissandra's gonna get me killed. Here's what's gonna happen. Got him with another W. Got him. <laughs> another W. Well played from the walks on the shield. I need to heal off of something, man. Everyone's killing the minions. I do have R. Gotta be careful of leasing R. Blue polymorph here. I can R for this. This is free. There it is. Well, they're not fighting, so I'll just hit the base. They all ran. Alright, you lose base then. Alright. As fun as it is to chase them in the fountain, I'd rather just end. And that's it. Take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against semi champions, we have the most in the game by a decent margin, 49k, second highest in at 23. And everyone else is somewhat tied up. Damage taken, we were kind of number four ish. Kind of. I guess technically number three. Self mitigated though, we easily took the most. This was mainly through our shielding on E and Glacial Frozen Fists. So, that is about a difference of almost 30,000. So, if you add 30,000 to damage taken, we easily took the most in the game. For runes, high value. On all, Volley Bear top is disgusting. The carry potential on it is, I'd say, virtually unmatched. Because even, yes, Master Yi is going to ask a Volley Bear. There's no question. Jax is going to ask a Volley Bear. No one's arguing that. But, the mid-game power spike... Two, three items how do you fight it the answer is you don't you have to just stay alive and survive if you guys enjoyed this Vully bear video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what champion you want to see next my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time